For this video, I'm checking out the Georgia State Cotton Museum. So do you know why Russia doesn't grow cotton? Because they already have Lenin. So I was recently traveling through Georgia, and I decided to stop here in Vienna, Georgia. This is the home of the Georgia State Museum of Cotton, and it's a pretty neat little museum. Let's face it, I always love the museums that have free admission, and this would be one of them. So this museum is located inside a 125 year old schoolhouse. Obviously with the limited square footage, it's not the largest museum you've ever seen but they still do a good job of tracing the full comprehensive history of the cotton industry here in Georgia. I really did learn quite a bit about cotton. For example, there are seven states in the cotton belt, and these seven states produce 80% of the cotton purchased by Americans. Here in Dooley County, they've been one of the largest producers of cotton for the past 200 years. So it's a big deal here, and that's why they built the museum. One thing I'd like to point out before you try to visit this museum is they have temporarily closed because of COVID-19. I filmed this footage before COVID hit. I was able to be one of the last people to actually go inside the museum and meet Earl, who is kind of like, I guess, the main volunteer that works here. So as you can see from the video footage, they have lots of different uh, versions of cotton, you know, whether they be in the raw form or after the manufacturing process. They specialize in upland cotton in Dooley County, and that happens to be about 90% of overall cotton production is this upland cotton. They have a lot of the different tools that they use for farming it. Overall, I found this museum pretty unique and interesting. So what's my bottom line for the cotton museum? This is not something I would drive to for itself, but it's right next to Interstate 75. It's only about eh, maybe two miles west of the exit. So if you're already in the area of Vienna, this is a great place to stop. I'd recommend checking the website to see when they uh, reopen it from this temporary closure uh, due to the pandemic. But I would imagine it's probably going to reopen uh, within the next couple months as the vaccine rolls out more. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe.